Lots to discuss today. And we're going to start off with SEC Week 1 uh, opening schedule, right? The, the release was earlier today. And, I mean, I'm jacked about it, man. I, you know, it, it feels normal to be discussing a football schedule, even though typically we get this, you know, at, what, around February, somewhere around there. And, and now they've had to completely redo the schedule, so now we're, now we're chatting about, okay, what are the highlights going to be? Who's going to be the CBS game? Who gets the ESPN night game, et cetera, et cetera, right? So let me go and read off the list here, Chris. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but uh, Alabama heads to Missouri in week one, Florida at Ole Miss, Mississippi State at LSU, Georgia at Arkansas, Kentucky at Auburn, Tennessee at South Carolina, and Vanderbilt at a and I will go ahead and tell you, my thought process here is the CBS primetime, you know, 2.30 central time kickoff, I think is going to be Mississippi State at LSU. I think there is a massive national audience that would like to see Mike Leach go into Baton Rouge, see what his team looks like in week one. Um, but, I mean, there are people online that have convinced me that, hey, this is going to be Florida at Ole Miss Everybody wants to see the lane train. Everybody wants to see Dan Mullen go back to Mississippi. You know, give me give me your thoughts here. Obviously, Georgia at Arkansas, Bama at Missouri, you know, Vandy at A&M, those are kind of layups. Yeah, but, I don't I don't think any of that's going to happen. Yeah. Um I, I actually do think it's going to be the LSU game. A, you got the defending champs. You yep. got the team that won it all. That's what CBS wants to showcase, I think. Um, you get Ed Orgeron, who has kind of become the face of the SEC after last year's run. And, and yeah, you get Mike Leach. I think if I'm the SEC, you're probably going to want to showcase Mike Leach more than you will um, uh, Lane Kiffin. Yeah. And, and I don't know a reason why you would want to showcase Florida over LSU um, in, in this instance for this individual game. So everybody basically said, we're going to take all the good teams. We're going to make them play against bad teams. The best matchup is going to be Tennessee, South Carolina. Oh, I, well, either that or Kentucky Auburn, right? I, I think Kentucky Auburn has a chance to be really close. I need to see what Kentucky looks like. I got no idea what they're going to look like at all. Um, I got an idea of what Auburn's going to look like. Yeah. Uh, Auburn misses uh, basically their entire defense. I mean, this is going to be a complete rebuild. Obviously, we'll yeah, do our but Auburn, preview. hang on now. Auburn has been four years, just like LSU, just like Florida, just like Georgia, just like Bama. They Their defensive line, they just rotate dudes in, and the next year, two more guys are going to step in. Those guys are going to play on Sundays one day, and it don't matter. Hey, you may be right. You may be right. I think you, that you has You can the, say they're losing a bunch, but every year I've watched those guys lose defensive linemen, and every year they just replace them with big, nasty dudes that are just as badass as the guys they lost. That is true. That I mean, you got a, you got a valid point there. So, so that if they were secondary elite guys or linebacker elite guys that they lost, we're having a different conversation. The fact that it's D-line, man, that, that's just something they rotate a door in. So the the biggest thing is the ESPN night game after the because I think we both agreed that it'll be Mississippi State at LSU for the CBS game. Yep. Um, the next one would be the ESPN primetime game, and my guess would be Florida at Ole Miss. Like that's not the best matchup. I, I think ESPN's going to pick Bama because of the biggest fan base. You might be right, and, and that's a really, really what CBS, a really good chance that CBS picks up Bama just because of the because of the fan base. I mean, it's it's entirely possible because you want to make sure that you capitalize on, you know, if if there's only one week and then we have massive outbreaks everywhere, you know, then you only get one week. You got to make sure you capitalize on the ratings. Uh, Michael jumped in. He said Vandy at A and M, gig em. and then he said just seeing the first week schedule has me jack. Can't wait in uh in Bart Scott voice. Yeah, that yeah. can't wait. Let's go. I, I just, I'm, I'm just hoping that we get this. That's all I want. I don't, I'm yeah. tired of talking about football and then having it ripped out from under me. Either yeah. tell me it's not happening or let's go forward. Oh, and that's, we, we are going to talk about the, the Big Ten mess on the show tomorrow on sbrpicks.com slash CFB or over on their uh, YouTube page. Uh, but we're, we're going to talk this entire SEC schedule over there tomorrow when it comes out tonight at 6 p.m. Central Time. Uh, so don't forget, tomorrow... SBR Sports Picks is the YouTube channel. Go and check it out. Um, yeah, and we will be on at 5.30 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. And we'll do that every Tuesday and Thursday going forward until until we change something. 
So we'll see what happens. Uh, let's should we talk about any of the rest of these? I mean, Tennessee at South Carolina. I mean, that's a and massive. That's gonna be pre- the best game to me. That's a I'm, pressure. Cooker. I'm super interested in that. I like both those teams. I think South Carolina might take a step backwards, which is going to be tough. I, I think Tennessee, you know, if they can build on what they've done the last two years, take another step forward. That's going to be a good thing. Yeah, uh, that's that is a pressure cooker game. If there has ever been one, it's it, that's going to be rough for for whoever loses it because uh, going forward, I mean, both of them obviously everybody in this. Conference I has think got South Carolina is getting a buy, so. Oh, you think so? Yeah, uh, maybe so. I, well, must champ for sure. I, it, it's still tough. I mean, you you obviously want to have a uh, a good season. South Carolina gear two of Ryan Helinski at quarterback. You know, 